yarn. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video is a whole house clean with me. I hope you guys are ready for some serious motivation. Hopefully getting you in the mood to take care or tackle some areas. I did some serious decluttering, some extreme cleaning, and I just put it all in this video. <laughs> and I hope you are prepared because um, this is literally a whole day clean. I spent one day of just wanting to clean my house. And so knowing that my house needed the attention that it got because it solely deserved it, I wanted to bring it to you. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rosa and I am a busy mama of three boys. And I really hope you like what you see and uh, you consider sticking around and joining our YouTube family and hitting that subscribe button. Not only that subscribe button, but the notification bell right next to it and that thumbs up if you like this video. You guys, I'm also super excited that we are at 300 subscribers. My goal by the end of the year is to get to 500 total. I know that this is possible. I am so excited to see the growth of this channel. So by you subscribing, does nothing or comes not, it, it doesn't come out of your pocket, doesn't, nothing extra just you clicking a button and I really really hope that you join me in this journey of YouTube so let's get into some cleaning So for a while now, I knew that I needed to clean out and kind of go through some of the, the things underneath my kitchen sink. I had did a organize and uh, clean and organize video um, a few months ago um, from underneath the sink. And this is kind of the original, all the original items I had used. And so um, this time I just needed to tweak it a little bit, kind of just go through it all, get rid of some things, wipe out some of these bends. and and wipe down some of the containers and, and things like that. So I am excited of how it turned out. Um, it looks very clean, very compact, very clean put together. So if you have an area that you are needing to tackle, such as underneath the sink, which I tell you, these are the areas that close the door, don't pay any attention, don't put any mind to it, because it's behind closed doors. Um, we all have them and I, have lots of them <laughs> so if you've got an area like this I really hope this motivates you that um, so that you're able to tackle that very special spot in your house
So here you'll see that I am uh, reading on a new package that I just purchased from Walmart. It's called Pink, and I think it's called Pink, and it's a, a tablet that you put over your drain um, for it to, I guess, foam up and to clean out your uh, drain, or I'm, I'm not sure, to tell you quite honestly. I, I have mixed feelings on it. I've only used it twice, one on each side of the sink. Um, the only good thing that I can say about it as of right now is that it smells like what the package says. It smells like lemon. Um, let me know below if you guys have this item or if you've tried it or if there is something. I, I think I picked up the wrong item, quite honestly. And so I'm looking for the, the one that foams in the drain. So let me know what that is down below so that I can make sure that I get the right one next time. So from cleaning underneath the sink, um, I didn't know that I had these items. I believe it's pronounced as Wyman, Wyman, and it's the stove top cleaner. You guys, I had like two of the cream bottles, two of the glass top spray, and didn't even know this. So I am trying it out for the first time um, in a long time because I used to use it at our old house and brought it over there if you saw my son giving me a shirt I was doing the mom smell test to make sure that his shirt smelled clean and I told him it was um, but anyway back to the stove I was very surprised so you're gonna see me read a few of these bottles or a couple of these bottles to make sure that I'm using them the right way such as the glass top cleaner um, and pretty surprised of, of the turnout I know that I'm gonna have to use it a couple more times to really give my true honest opinion on this house um, because of how much water you know water over spills and with the kids helping out with cooking and stuff the stove kind of really gets messy um, at least the stove top does so um, I'll let you guys know what I really really think of this product um, in the next few videos From a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Oh, getting caught in the mist is so many they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run till the end And we run without shame One of the things that I was able to invest in um, a while ago and do not regret it was my stain mop. Now they do and they can get a little pricey, but you guys, I absolutely love my shark stain mop. Um, how I stain my floors is originally when I first got the stain mop, I would just use water, obviously, and that is supposed to help sanitize and sterilize your floors. 
but because I wanted that extra, I actually used um, lemon um, and lemongrass um, essential oils and added into my steam mop. So as the steam is warming up, I went ahead and tackled wiping down the stove and wiping down the fridge as well and kind of cleaning it out just a little bit, not much. But um, I just, I can't tell you how how awesome the steam up is with the essential oils added especially lemon the smell that that it leaves behind the aroma it is just awesome I actually had a neighbor that came over and said that she could smell my house from outside and she was down like maybe like five or six steps away from my door um, but that's a very big compliment to me because one of the biggest things is I don't want my house to have any funky odors because of animals or kids because they can smell like the great outdoors if you let them and if you've got boys like I do or just have children that seem to be allergic to the shower but want to play in the rain and sweat makes zero sense to me but hey to each his own right so anyway I love my steam mop and so I'm going to go ahead and steam up my floors or my kitchen and then after cleaning everything in the living room and the dining room and the kitchen then I'll be doing the same thing or I'm sorry and in the bathroom in the hallway I'll be doing the same thing there. She want to try something else in life She wants a different view She want to move to a place downtown Be a part of the crew And I'm standing up first in line Right, all in the aim She don't want to waste my time No, never again Touching up on my body She's moving at me so fast Until the morning coffee I just want to, just want to make it last Up on my body Now we're into the laundry room and needing to get a couple of loads taken care of. I can tell you I had at least two very large bins full of clothes that needed to get washed. That was a combination of the kids and my basket and needing to fold some laundry as you can see here that I'm taking out of the dryer. Um, but not only am I doing that, I'm also going to declutter and clean out this laundry room. Um, it is just something that just becomes a catch like everything goes in there over you know leftover hangers and you know just other things and so I wanted to make sure that I was able to clean out this laundry room go through the baskets um, take out things that I don't use um, and a lot of the things that were in here that I didn't use um, you will see are target towards my husband's hunting so I kept a couple of bottles but I think there was like four bottles that I 
wanted to make sure that I was able to pass towards or pass on to him and there was also some, some other things that were misplaced in here um, things that I have actually been looking for <laughs> um, so anyway so I needed to make sure that I was able to clean out this room and get it back to looking like a nice laundry room <laughs> Now on to the boys' bathroom, and if you are um, not new to my channel, then you know exactly how I feel about the boys' bathroom. It is disgusting. I have three boys, and this bathroom, not only is it the guest bathroom, but it's their bathroom for them to use, but I can't get over how bad it smells. It smells like a stinking urinal. So I needed to get in here, sanitize, sterilize, scrub the heck out of this tub, the shower, the toilet, the, the whole nine. So that is what I did in addition to steam mopping the floor. So I, like I said, if, if you're not new, you know me, you know how much I say my kids are gross. Boys are disgusting. Please show me one child on this earth that is not, or at least a boy that is not. My boys are gross. So I, again, wanted to make sure that it got cleaned and cleaned right. For the thrill of it Don't stop now Never let this end For the thrill of it We can have with no regrets We make out For the thrill of it Mess around For the thrill of it Don't stop now Never let this end For the thrill of it We can have with no regrets
Live life without regrets Girl, put your faith in me Even though we just met Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you Hope, speed, and my heart is pacing But I'm not sure I wanna face it Cause it only does this with you Bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true We make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it, we can have no regrets 
Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, want you all night long Want you all night long Tell me Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, want you all night long Want you all night long Want you all night long Now we're into the boys' room and needing to get it cleaned and tidy. Um, we were just in there a couple of days ago uh, prior to this video, tidying it up and cleaning it. And I just wanted to go in there and redo it again because you know kids, um, the minute that a space um, gets clean, I feel like it's an invitation to get messy again. <laughs> so I feel like the space is like, come, come mess me up, mess me up. But um, my boys do a, a a decent job with cleaning up after themselves but of course sometimes they just need their mama's help um, so I'm going to handle that uh, meaning finishing up their room uh, this day in particular was just it was a busy day of cleaning and tidying up organizing decluttering st uh, you know sanitizing sterilizing and helping the house smell good um, and it was just it was a busy day I was very tired at the end of the day but um, it's all it was all worth it um, to be able to go to bed with a clean home knowing that it's going to get messy the very next day but it just it felt good to go to bed with a clean house um, and was able to take the next you know the next couple of days off from doing a heavy clean but I still had laundry that I needed to finish because I believe I only had four I only did four loads of laundry this particular day but the very next day I had a bunch more um, and I needed to get done. Um, so anyway, I hope that this video gave you the motivation um, that you needed or that you were searching and looking for. If you were able to clean with me, let me know. Let me know down below. Um, or if you just watched um, to get the motivation to clean afterwards, let me know as well. Um, and if you are new again, I really hope you consider subscribing and sticking around and joining our family. Um, and hit that like button if you like what you see. So now I'm onto the staircase and needing to vacuum. Ever since I tore up the rug or the, the carpet off of the staircase, I've been able to see everything. So this has been a challenge for me because I've been wanting to sweep it every day or every other day. I just, it becomes, like I can see all the cat hair. I can see all the, all the dirt, all the, it's just, it's driving me crazy. And speaking of the cat, if you guys have any cats in your family or in your home, please give me one small tip on how to keep him from messing with my tree skirt. Um, Harley loves to go underneath the tree skirt, roll around, um, play with the tree skirt. Sometimes the tree skirt is now across the living room on the other side of the house and the kids are always chasing it. Um, 
He has yet to climb the tree, thank God. Um, but let me know what, what tip you may have for me. Well, now we're reaching towards the end of the video and why not ended with one of my favorite chores, laundry. Believe it or not, laundry is one of my favorite chores. It's something that I could, um, I've said before, it just it 
keeps me still for for the moment where I'm able to catch up on YouTube or catch up on a TV show um, but yeah this is I actually love folding laundry um, but anyway I just wanted to jump back on and, and thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching all the way to the end and if you're a returning viewer uh, thank you for your support. Your support means the world to me. And if you are new, as I said before, uh, welcome and I hope you join, uh, join the family. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like so that we can chit chat and talk. Um, and I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Much love and God bless.